CompTIA recently went live with their new CYSA Plus exam, version two. And uh, I took the exam. I'd like to share my experiences to the extent that I can, and also just very at a broad level, explain what you might run into if you were to take the CYSA Plus exam. So first off, the exam itself covers a lot of different things. It's very broad in what you are expected to know. And here's the, the actual domains as provided directly from CompTIA. But I would kind of summarize this by saying that it is, it's multidimensional in a way. So what does that mean? Well, first off, you have to be able to think about security from both an attacker's point of view and a defender's point of view. So both red team and blue team, you have to be able to adopt either perspective. Now, beyond that, we need to have both conceptual sort of abstract understanding of security topics, but also the ability to apply that knowledge. So it's both abstract and applied. And you can get a very, very conceptual question that is immediately followed up by one that expects you to do something very uh, technical and applied, something like interpreting the output of a particular command. So you have to be able to, um, you have to be able to adjust your, your uh, approach according to the, the context of the question. Okay, and then the third thing, and I could probably list off a bunch of different ways uh, that make this sound very broad, which it is. But I guess the third way I would, uh, the third thing I would mention is that we cover, especially from the blue team perspective, we cover the defense against certain attacks, right? So it could be uh, hardening of systems, adequate monitoring, and the list kind of goes on. So defense and, and detection, but also the response when an attack does occur. So you're expected to know not just how to mitigate or prevent attacks, but also how do you respond when they inevitably uh, occur successfully. So lots of different topics are covered. And my experience with the exam was uh, let's see, how can I be, I got to stay within my NDA. Now I would say it's a significant increase in difficult, difficulty versus the original uh, CYSA plus exam. So it's, it's more difficult and it moves from asking you or yeah, it moves from asking you what you know to really requiring you to both know it and demonstrate it. So it's kind of expanded in that way. It's less about knowing the facts and more about knowing them and knowing how to apply them. So that can make it more difficult for a lot of people. And it really makes, uh, when you're studying for the exam, it makes hands-on experience and practice and using labs really, really important for preparing for version two. So beyond that, it has significant emphasis on on analysis, as you might guess, cybersecurity analysis. Uh, so the the questions that you may see, uh, trying to stay as vague as possible, you may get, for instance, a series or a set of log outputs from different platforms, and be able to you would be expected to be able to read that output to form a picture of what has happened according to the output, and to maybe respond to it, choose the best response. So that can be difficult. Again, we need a lot of practice here because the log outputs might be in different formats. They might be on different systems. They might be targeting uh, different services. So you, you get a you get a all the information you need, but it's not all in one place. And you've got to use your judgment to really determine what occurred and where to, to go from here. So that's an example of what you might run into. Uh, similarly, maybe different network analysis tools. You might be expected to use them, like how do you use command X, Y, or Z, or you may be expected to interpret the output from them. So do you know how to read a packet capture? Do you know when Nmap spits out a bunch of information? Do you know how to, to sort of digest that and make sense of it? What well, you would be expected to for CYSA+. And beyond that, I guess uh, the last thing uh, that you definitely want to not skimp on in your studying for CYSA Plus is the, the less technical aspects. So the organizational aspects, policy, kind of the stuff that we aren't necessarily as interested in, uh, at least most, most of us. Uh, those are definitely, they definitely get their day, right? They get their 15 minutes during the exam. So you don't want to 
gloss over those in favor of the that, the hyper technical stuff or the cool tools uh, because a big part of security like it or not is organizational security you know policies setting all those policies having um having guidelines and and standards and so forth abiding by regulatory structures all that is is still a big part of security and it's something that is going to be covered on the exam so it does cover lots of different dimensions of security it absolutely if you pass demonstrates that you have a good deep but also broad understanding of security topics and like i said this new version is more difficult than the first one the first one wasn't exactly super easy so this is something that might require a lot of studying and i uh, i'm really looking forward to teaching the class it's funny i took the exam back in october and i just got my results back maybe a week or two ago so i was uh, i almost forgot that i'd even taken the exam but since the class is coming up and i got my results and i actually passed i figured i'd make a quick video uh, just to summarize my experience kind of explain what you might run into on the exam and luckily i took notes because that was so long ago again i almost forgot i'd taken it again very difficult exam but it's also fair so i want to leave on that note it's not a an exam that's oppressively difficult where all the questions are super obscure and you have to do tons of rote memorization they're not testing that kind of knowledge they're testing what your experience is can you actually apply the knowledge and i feel like most people that i've talked to that have taken the exam actually kind of enjoyed it and they thought it was fair even the ones that didn't pass it, it definitely it's a good exam it's a good exam and i don't usually say that about taking tests but it's it's fair it's challenging and it's uh, it's well worth the effort so hopefully you can join me for the cysa plus class uh if not i wish you all the the best luck in your studies and this is absolutely a great uh, a great goal it's a, it's a great certification on your resume you'll learn a ton studying for it and uh yeah absolutely an awesome exam.